Hello and thank you for clicking on my channel, Cali Legends Media. I really appreciate you. I'd also like to uh, say thank you to the subscribers before I start this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, so that way you'll be notified whenever uh, another video comes out if you're interested in these kind of stories, this type of content. We also talk about things uh, regarding culture, history, current events, and uh, it's a new channel. This channel is only a, a little over a month old, and uh, we're off to a good start. So uh, hopefully you'll join our, our uh, Cali Legends family and, and grow with us. Uh, we have some new things planned for the future, and uh, there'll be improvements along the way. Like I said, it's a brand new channel. We just started off. So anyways, uh, today's video. Today's video took me some, some contemplating as to uh, so I could figure whether or not I really wanted to do this video. I don't mean to ruffle any feathers with this video, but this video could uh, be very controversial. It involves being asked to uh, do a mission, okay, by somebody who was in control of the yard. Now, what this, uh, what this job entailed was Somebody was removing themselves from the yard. They were rolling it up off the yard. They were already in custody. They were handcuffed inside the, the program office. So for sure they were going to be under guard. They were going to be under escort during the time this, uh, this took place and also under the gun because obviously um, it was going to be put out that they were moving this, this individual off the yard and uh, the guy was at risk. So... You know, precautions were being taken by by staff. Now, what had happened is this guy owed money, okay? He owed money on the yard, and he also he owed me money too. The money he owed was was hot money. It was money that had to get to its destination, regardless of what. Somebody was going to pay this money. If not him, somebody else, was, that money was going to get paid, okay? But this guy decided it wasn't going to be him, okay? Now, let me go back about two months. Two months prior, my car, my homies from uh, Maravilla were doing a little something. Okay, we were, we were doing, we had a little bit of work to, to, to move. And um, this guy was one of the ones that were given credit. And what we would do is we'd extend credit to people where they could uh, buy pizzas because, you know, they'd have pizza sales. We'd tell them, hey, get us five pizzas, six sodas, get us some, uh, some muffins, you know blueberry muffins, pistachio muffins, whatever. And then when the day came, all the people that owed us pizzas and sodas and stuff, when the pizza day came, we'd go out to the yard and we'd have a big old spread of pizza and sodas and you know all these goodies, right? Or store, whatever, whatever we could get, right? Items, TVs, radios, whatever. In any case, this guy was extended uh, the courtesy to pay later. Well, little did we know he was going around doing that with everybody. Came to a point where I knew already this guy, he was, he was, he was going to go. This guy was already spooked out. This was two months prior to the day that we were asked to take care of uh, this little mission. Okay. So two months prior, I had went to the guy who had the yard, a different guy. And I, and I asked him if I could deal with this individual because I knew he was leaving. I knew I wasn't going to get my money, and I know he owed other people money. And I, and I, I took it upon myself to want to deal with this individual. Well, something weird happened, something unexpected. I came out of my cell later on that day, and this guy who had the yard, he was in my building. He was sitting down in the day room downstairs. He was sitting down with the guy who had the yard for the whites. They were the only two sitting at this table. They were having a discussion. And as I walked down the stairs, he got my attention and he called me over. 
So I went over to the table. He asked me to sit down. I sat down. And basically what he told me was that the Yavero for the whites wanted to speak to me. So as I started having this discussion with him, he starts asking me what was the deal with his, with, with his buddy, right, that owed this money. And I looked over to the guy who had the yard for us, like, what's going on here? Like, you know, like, did you tell him or what, you know? Anyways, the guy told me, tell him what's up. So I told him, hey, the guy owes money, man. He owes me money. He owes a lot of us money. And the guy's acting spooky. I believe he's going he's gonna to leave. And you know, talk to him. The guy's skittish, man. You know, he's held up in his cell. He's, he's acting irregular, man. I, I just have a feeling the guy's going to try to bone out. You know, he's told several lies that have been verified. And um, I, I think he's at the end of his rope. Well, what the guy basically told me, the shot caller for the whites told me was, well, if anything happens to him, uh, my people are going to jump. We're going to have a big old mess in our hands, you know, because, you know, we're not going to let that happen. And I told him, well, what, are you guys going to pay the debts for him or what? You know, is he that important? You guys are going to step. And he, he cut me straight and said, no, we're not paying anything for him. But if anything happens, I'm just letting you know that that's the way it's going to go down. And I turned around and looked at, at, at our, you know, at our fearless leader here. And he's just staring down at the table. He's not making no comments. He's not saying nothing. And I just turned around and I told him, you know what, homie, I'll talk to you later. You know, I told the, the guy who had our yard for us, hey, I'll talk to you later. I got up and I, I walked away. Later on, I asked him what was going on, you know. And he cleaned it up by saying, look, uh, Lucky, nothing could happen to this guy right now because of the money that he owed and to who he owed it to. We got to try to collect this money from this guy. He said, you know what's going to happen? The guy's going to bone out. Nobody's going to get nothing. Okay? And, and this guy's going to get away with, with that. He's going to make fools out of everybody, out of all of us, including me. I go, but you know what? It's your call. And after that day, I didn't talk to this guy anymore. You know, I, I lost all respect for him. Well, apparently so did uh, some other people because about a month after that conversation in that table in the day room, this guy was called to the back. I'm not saying he was called to the back for this situation. I think he was called to the back for the job he was doing. And he didn't go. He wouldn't go. He, he, was, he was happy, man. He was doing his thing. You know, he was having it his way, like Burger King, you know. Well, they removed him from the yard the hard way, you know. And this guy had the audacity to come back to the yard. Instead of taking his lungs and going to the back where he belonged and to go answer or speak to whoever he needs to speak to back there, dude came back to the yard. Well, that, that same night at night yard, they removed him and they made sure he wasn't coming back to that yard and he didn't after that he, he was he was removed off that yard permanently somebody else took his place obviously so back to the day when this guy actually left okay and actually rolled it up the guy who had the yard at that time he was a, a much smarter person a much more cunning person and much more knowledgeable person. But he had came and he asked my younger homies, I was probably one of the oldest ones there, me and one other guy, if two of them would, would take care of this, you know, which I had a big problem with. Reason being is I really, really pushed to get this taken care of when we were able to take care of it in a way that the only one that would have really uh, been put into any type, type of jeopardy would have been me, you know? And under the right circumstances, I may have been able to pull it off and still not go anywhere, you know? Nevertheless, my hands were, feet were tight. I wasn't able to, to, to do things the way that I thought they should be done. And that's just the way it is most of the time. Uh, 
you know, it's not my house, you know, so I have to obey the rules of the house. That's just the way that you act and the way that you conduct yourself when you're in somebody else's house, right? Anyways, I told my homeboys, look, I'm going to go talk to the guy who has the yard, okay? And, and I'm going to deal with this because I think it could be dealt with. And I don't feel that any of you should have to go and risk any of your good time, risk yourself physically, and 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 why you should even be asked. You know, there's other reasons why you shouldn't be, but um, I'm going to go and speak to him because I think it's wrong. And I'll, I'll take responsibility. Whatever whatever comes of this, I'll, I'll take full responsibility for it. So I go over and and uh, and I talk to the to the guy who had the yard, right? And I told him, look, a month and a half, two months ago, I, I tried to get this done. You know, he goes, yeah, I heard about that, and I, and I go, well, so then you know that that was the time to do this. And, uh, you know, I don't think that is right, putting one of us under that type of situation because that was part of our money, too. And we asked to do this. I asked to do this when it was, uh, uh, you know, when it was the appropriate time before this got went so far. I go, but if it needs to be done, it'll be done. But I'm going to make a big deal out of this because it was I think it was handled all wrong, the wrong way now. He says, come over here. Come over here, Lucky. And he took me to the side. And he posted up in front of one of the buildings. He said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's it's it's, it's a done deal. So it's, he, he sat down with a couple of his boys. I sat down with him. And, uh, and he had a little bit of, 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 of some, some uh, weed to smoke, you know, with some secret stuff in it or whatever. And... I, I don't smoke. I didn't smoke. But I stood there and I and I talked with them and everything. And I don't know how long it was after that. The guy comes out of the out of the program office with not two but four escorts. And you know, it was a short walk from the program office to the gate and he was gone. And there was a whole yard of people that hadn't earned their bone, that may have even wanted to do it, that he could have got to do it, you know? But I just felt that it was, it was, it wasn't being handled right. And it was, I don't know, I just had to speak up, you know? I may have been putting myself at risk, whatever it was, but I just thought it was the right thing to do. I did what I did. Nobody was scared. You know, it wasn't had anything to do with fear or, or <laughs> it had to do with something that was right and wrong, you know. And uh, and I care for my boys, you know. I care for my homies, you know. You know, uh, I think it's part of our jobs to watch out for them and and see that they're not used and being misused and just thrown away as like torpedoes, like dumbasses, you know. You know, if it's something that, that that that's appropriate, that's righteous, say, hey, you know, handle it. You know, I'm sure it's different now. This was back in in uh, the early 2000s, and since then things have changed in a big way. And uh, who knows if it would have been somebody else that had the yard at that time, it may have been dealt with, and I may have been dealt with, and we may have been dealt with differently. But it wasn't. It was the way it was, and, and uh, you know, we took a loss, you know. Anyways, I just wanted to share this video because people say, hey, you know, you can't say no. Hey, you can't refuse. And you can, but depending where you are in the game, there's consequences. You claim, you, you claim to be that guy. When, you're, when the bell rings, you don't come out and do your thing. Then it goes all bad, real bad. But uh, basically, I think the guy understood 
that that situation was handled all wrong, not by him so much as the other guy that had the yard before him, you know, and it, and it never got it never got addressed with the changing of the guards. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's my video for today. And like, I'm sure a lot of you should watch my videos. You know, at the end, I always try to give a little something positive to it. And this is my positive spin on all this, you know. If you have uh, nephews, brothers, cousins, whoever you have in prison, if you have people in prison, and you talk to them and you have your conversation about everything else, before you go, man, give them some consejos, give them some advice. Advice, you know, it's hard to, to change a person's mind. It's hard to convince somebody. But at least they know that you 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 put it in their head and in their heart. You planted that seed. And tell them, man, hey, don't get caught up on the bullshit. Don't get caught up in the nonsense and the, you know, the willing and dealing on that level. Because when somebody owes you money, you need to go get your money. If not, you get left looking like a big weenie, you know what I mean? And, and, and it reflects on you. So once you get in there and you start uh, having people owe you, you put yourself in a situation of later on, if they decide they're not going to pay you or can't pay you, then you need to do what you got to do. And you got to be willing to do that, you know? And uh, it's better they just, uh, you know, stay in their lane, do their time, and uh, prepare to get out and, and get back on track when they leave that place, you know? Um, anyways, thank you for uh, watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It, it'll have like minimal effect <laughs> in, your, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, you know? Small button says subscribe, just punch it and, uh, and you're in the car with the Cali Legends family, okay? Thank you for watching this video. God bless you. Take care. Guard your freedom. Like it's the most important thing in the world because when it comes down to it, it is. Once you're locked up and, and, and you're taken out of uh, your family's lives, it causes problems for your family, man, your kids, your wife. It's a struggle for them. And, the, and your hands will be tied. You won't be able to do anything to help. Then it'll be too late. Right now is the time to do it. I wish you luck on whatever you're doing in your life. Stay positive. God bless you and take care. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.